What's up you guys, it's Levi here. Welcome to the Cybersecurity Education Channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about USB data blockers. And this video really spurs off the cybersecurity traveling series that I've been talking about. And it really applies to two different videos in that series. Um, I did a video talking about cybersecurity while renting a car, which I'll tag up above here. And then I did a video about um, cybersecurity while plugging your devices into airport kiosks and public kiosks, which I'll put a I'll put a card up above here as well, so you guys can take a look at those. Um, basically, I was just talking about the risks of plugging your um, mobile devices into a rental car and plugging your mobile devices into public kiosks. And there's one key point that I forgot um, that I really didn't know about it, um, until the other day. Um, Dale Meredith, um, I've talked about him in the rental car video. He um, is a Pluralsight author, um, which is a, is a training company, and he does cybersecurity videos for them, which is how I found out about it. Um, and he's recently been starting a Dale Dumbs It Down series, um, which is an Instagram account that kind of dumbs IT concepts down for you guys. And he's creating a YouTube account that, that dumbs IT concepts down for you, so you guys and helps with cybersecurity. I promoted him in the last video um, because he gave me I the idea about rental car security and I made sure to leave his information down below in the description. Um, but anyway, I sent a message to him on Instagram thanking him for giving me the idea um, and he sent me a message back that talks about you're, you're missing something. You're missing um, the USB data blockers cord. So. Um, what exactly is that? Well, here's some pictures of what it is. It's basically a blocker that you can plug at the end of your USB charging cord so that it only allows your device to charge um, and it doesn't allow any data connection to go to your device. So when you're plugging it into a public kiosk or when you're plugging it into a rental car, you know, I, I talked about there's a risk that there could be malware um, on those those charging devices that can affect your device and um, allow an attacker to be able to do bad things to your device and do things such as spying on the activity on your device, stealing information off your device and using that to, to breach your financial accounts um, or commit identity fraud against you um, and just terrible things to you. Um, so this method, it gives you another option to be able to plug your devices into those airport kiosks and rental cars because it'll block the data transfer. It's just going to charge your phone. So I wanted to create a video to show you guys this so that um, you guys are aware that this is another option. Um, I'll post a link down below to the Amazon link for this device. Um, Basically what I can tell from the description, it should work with all Samsung and Apple phones for charging. Um, so you should be good there if you have one of those phones. If you don't have one of those phones, more than likely it's still gonna work for another device, another um, phone. It just might not charge ideally. But I just wanted to give you guys another option. So um, you guys had all the available options to help protect yourself while traveling and plugging into airport kiosks and rental cars. Um, go ahead and watch those videos if you'd like to learn more about those situations. Keep this USB data blocker in mind as you're watching those videos. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> thank you for inspiring another video, Dale Meredith. Uh, I highly su suggest you guys go ahead and check out his videos. He's got some good content out there. Um, and I'll post all of his links down below so you guys can take a look at it. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day.